It is the 41st millennium. For 10,000 years, the Imperium has dominated the galaxy. There is only war. Every human soul, from the most highborn lord to the most basic servitor, is dedicated to the service of the God Emperor of Mankind. The Imperium's battle fleets and armies, from the conscripted soldiers of the Astra Militarum to the elite space marines of the Adeptus Astartes, keep humanity safe from alien threats and cosmic horrors beyond imagining. But there is another war. It is the one in which I serve. and fleet engagements. It is waged by the dedicated agents of the Imperial Inquisition. It is fought in the cities and hives of the Imperium. In the back streets and the forgotten sublevels. In hive cities like Tertian. We're surrounded! Don't get overrun! For if the Inquisition fails... If we fail... The Imperium falls with us. Well, that was, uh, insane. Hello everyone, my name is Evergreen, and welcome to, or welcome back to Warhammer 40k Darktide. The, um... I'm gonna call it the, well it is the pre-order beta, but I would consider this the open beta. Or this is pro this is the finished game model that they'll be uh, releasing on the 29th, that's the release date. Um, I kinda got into this uh, late, as I've been playing for a couple days trying to get myself back into the game. Um, so I've been having another character side, but we'll be creating a new one to go through the game and see what's up, see what's new, all that stuff. Uh, I haven't seen that cutscene before, I don't think. Uh, at least not in this game, so that's cool. Uh, we did a veteran sharpshooter last time. And when we have a veteran sharpshooter again, this time. Uh, but I don't know, I'm actually kind of thinking maybe we do something different. Hmm. What to do? Well, I'll go over it again, if for those that haven't seen my previous video, there are four classes total. There's the veteran sharpshooter. Uh, troopers of the Astra Militarum, the Imperial Guard. Veterans are vowed for their skilled and seasoned warriors for the Emperor of Mankind. Uh, this is a very fun class. It's the only one I've actually played. Well, actually, I played a little bit of the Preacher, but uh, the Veteran Sharpshooter is my favorite. The Zealot Preacher. Zealots are fanatical, pious warriors whose rage and fervor in the Emperor's name lead them to places where lesser faith would fear to tread. Powerful abilities. Especially a melee. The Psyker. Psykinetic. Psychic mutants or psychers draw power from the Immaterium, the warp, to feel their formidable mental abilities. They are viewed with suspicion as witches throughout the Imperium. I thought about my going with these guys, to be honest with you. And then we have the Ogren, the Skullbreakers. Ogrens are massive power ab humans often used as shock troops for the Imperial Guard. They are strong, loyal, and at but have limited intelligence. <laughs> eh, I don't see the problem there. <gasps> Walking tanks? By all means. Hmm. I don't know, I just really dig the being an Imperial Guardsman. Uh, 
Let's see here. What are the worlds that we can be a part of? Uh, the Mobian Domain is full of established worlds, burgeoning settlements, and far-flung colonies. Even though you have been on the move for a long time, there's one, still one place you can call home. There's Surix. Circus? Considered the second world of the Modobian Domain, this planet is a large shrine world and is a popular destination for pilgrimages. Melis, uh, Messalinia Glorinia, a heavily forested moon that serves as a minor shrine world. This world has a few resources and low population, but is strategically important since the fall of the nearby Cormaris. All right. Rockria. Roxeria? A small agri world that produces intense far, uh, tens, intensively farmed and massively harvest grain crops. This planet has are the butt of many jokes considered backwards by other Mobians, and yet they are hardworking and honest to a fault. Brax Magenia. A thriving industrial world, this planet is a mostly densely populated in the Mobian domain. Its teeming billions manned its continent spanning many factories night and day. Incron. An oceanic world that produces an uh, with the populace of Incron inhabit vast hive islands. Incron is the Mobian Domain's main naval depot. Not, you know, surface naval, but in space. Cadia, the formerly, the formerly the Imperium's most famous fortress world. Its fall marked the beginning of the area in Dominus, the Dark Imperium. Mornax, a small, grim mining world known for its hellish conditions, which produce a famously hard and dour populace. And then, Pavane. Relatively new, newly colonized, Pavane is already a self-sustaining rich world rich in natural resources whose population is quickly expanding. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go... Oh. Uh, we'll be doing... Where's the ocean world? Here we go, Incron. Uh, one's character is def uh, defined by childhood experience, or so they say. Like many others in the grim darkness of the 41st millennium, you had a tough upbringing, but unlike many, you got through it with the scars to prove it. So we can do Navis Imperialis Conscript. The Imperial Navy provides a fleet support for vast armies of the Imperium, while its pilots, captains, and admirals often garner fame and glory as heroes of far-flung wars, the backbone of the Navis Imperios, or the Imperial Navy, is its, in its veritable legion of unrated workers who man space docks, galleys, and holds across the, the galaxy. There's Tide Forager. Despite the abundance of fish, it is dangerous to ply the waters, for amidst the floating refuse dwell plentiful, highly aggressive predators, always willing to take a bite of an unwary fisherman. Militia Lackey. The pressed youth of planetary militia rarely achieve any rank, nor garner any glory. If they're lucky, they might learn some survival skills while serving as trench runners and ammo monkeys. Sludger. Most of the hive world's Potable water is imported from agri-worlds, but supplemented by huge purifier stations, which collect water from underground streams, polluted rivers, or atmospheric condensers. Given the enorm enormously high levels of radiation and industrial pollution topside, purifiers run non-stop to ensure the water supply falls within acceptable toxicity parameters. And then we have leech harvester. The, sl the sump leech is a predatory worm that thrives in polluted brackish water. It is a pharmaceutical value, although the poorest communities often harvest them for food. Hmm. Probably do Imperial Navy Conscript. Growing up. There aren't a lot of options for folk like you growing up, but you had to find a way to overcome the trials of youth by fair means or foul. Hmm. Enlisted... Uh, normally we do comfort through discipline. But I'll go through them all. Enlisted. The militia are the first line of planetary defense and serve as a fertile recruiting ground for larger and more and better equipped forces of the Ash Militarum. Hive Ganger. Hive gangs are territorially criminal uh, organizations run from all manners of rackets in lower depths of the hive worlds. 
The most har hard-bitten gangers are highly sought after as recruits for the Ashton Militarum, although most would rather die in a fight pit than or pit fight than serve the Emperor as a soldier. Comfort through discipline. When searching for new recruits, the Ashton Militarum will take any able buddy. But those with discipline and mental fortitude make the most reliable soldiers for the crucible of war and are often uh, earmarked as officers of the future. Conscripted. The Ashton Militarum is a formidable force and a favored battle tactic is to engage in, in, the, in the enemy in a war of attrition. It takes a consistent influx of new recruits to replenish casualties suffered in the maelstrom of a meat grinder battles. Hive Guide. With level upon level, hives are labyrinth and ever-changing as old access routes are, clo in cl are closed and new ones are open. Without a guide, even people who lived in a hive their entire lives would become hopelessly lost if they strayed too far from their district. Witness to a crime. To ensure none escape justice, the enforcers in Mobian Domain often round up and punish those who witnessed but failed to report a crime. Even when the witness withheld information for fear of their own lives, no exception is made. Unpaid debt. In most hive cities, debt collectors thrive in an survive or thrive in an industry built to exploit the impoverished and vulnerable. Bailiffs, strong arms, and even bounty hunters are often employed to procure what is owed to an immoral money lenders. Amoral. We're gonna go with comfort through discipline. Defining moment. You've been through a lot. The struggle you call life demanded it. But the, uh, through all hardships and all triumphs, one incident stands out in your memory, which shaped you, you more than anything. Recruited. The Astro Militarum draws recruits from myriad sources, plans, militia, hive gangs, or even the workforce to provide fertile rec provide f fruit. Uh, frick. English is hard. Fertile recruiting grounds. For some... Service in the Imperial Guard is the only way to improve their lot in life, if only briefly. Saved by the Sarge. In the Mobian regiments of the Ash Militarum, it is a common place for survivors of battles to w swear oaths to avenge their fallen brethren, no matter the cost. Your Sarge gave her life to save you. You must be honored. That must be honored. Field Promotion. Those soldiers who suffer uh, show sufficient promise and leadership skills may be promoted to a non-commissioned officer (NCO), value, invaluable in the field. Though these squad leaders are expected to lead from the front, holding their troops together in the face of terrifying odds. Duel. Despite attempts of the authorities to crack down on them, honor duels remain popular, if deadly, method of setting disputes through the Mobi Mobian domain. Warp Storm. Warp travel is notoriously dangerous, and even routine trips can be temperamental. Losing months, years, decades, or even centuries during warp jumps is not uncommon, especially when warp anomalies or violent storms tear at the immaterium. Decorated for Bravery. The galactic north of the Domain is dotted with feral worlds, the site of constant battles to hold back the dark tide. It was in these fringe wars you found your courage and purpose. Elite Formation. You quickly proved a capable soldier and found yourself recruited into a storied unit. After many grueling battles across dozens of worlds, you earned your veteran status. Great things were expected of you. Um, I would do Elite Formation. And now we create our soldier. Male, of course, since I'm a guy. Hmm. Facial hair, none. Face. Not really much to choose from. How do we go with this one? How do we go with that? Eye color, green. Working eyes. What's this do? Oh, I see. Hairstyles. There's a lot to choose from. Well, that's weird. Hmm. 
That just looks tacky. Probably go with that. Yeah, we're definitely going with this. Facial hair. Probably go with a little bit of stubble. Body tattoos. There we go. That's the one I like. Scars. There we go. That's the one I like. Scar of the eye. Height. Max that out. Continue. Personality. Uh, your life choices have molded you into the person you are today. There's happiness in your life, sure, but when you let... But you're left with plenty of scars, not just the physical kind. This is what you have become. What's a professional sound like? Just another day in the Imperial Guard. Only I'm not even part of the Guard any longer. Not since that business with the Commissar, the Court Martial and the Holding Cell. Now, I'm part of this merry band of maniacs. For better or worse. Still figuring out what that means, exactly. But most of it seems to be putting the boot in on the Emperor's enemies and not getting executed for meeting the wrong stare funny. So I guess I'm better off. At least, so long as the ammo and grub don't run out. Uh, normally I pick professional. There's loose cannon though. <sighs> another day, another set of useless bloody orders from some useless bloody carker sitting safe in planetary orbit while I'm down here in the mud trying not to get me block knocked off. Just my carking luck. I mean, it wasn't my fault that a few things went missing from the stores now, was it? If they were needed for the war effort, then the quartermaster would have locked the door or at least placed a guard, wouldn't he? No. Wait, come to think of it, there was a guard. And a lot of blood. And then there's Cutthroat. I watched the world die. 8,000 years of defiance, gone in an eye blink. And with it, went some of the finest soldiers I had the honor to serve alongside. Not for glory, not for victory, not even for defiance. But because sooner or later, the void swallows everything. I learned something that day. No world, no bastion, maybe no faith is impregnable. The agents of the enemy are everywhere, watching, plotting, waiting. Only thing to be done with heresy is to root it out with fire and steel. Anyway, I cannot currently access the cutthroat because I did not select my home world as Cadia. So Just another day in the... Your sentence. This is where your life journey has led. You are a prisoner of the Imperium, convicted of a crime you may or may not have committed. But guilt is irrelevant at this point. Innocence proves nothing. Dereliction of duty. The brown suit. The punishment for dereliction of duty is often death, but in some cases this sentence is waived in exchange for service in a penal battalion or worse. I say brown, it's yellow prison guard. Insubordination. Disobedience, real or implied, to an imperial authority is enough to earn demotion, prison, or death. Misplaced faith. So powerful are the upper figures of the Adeptus Ministorum that draw their ire by questioning their faith or worldly habits is to invite a death sentence. Sedition. Overtly seditious conduct ranging from disrespectful speeches to mass organizations with the intent to protest is in all considered part of a ten tendency towards rebellion against the established order, and that is something the Imperium does not tolerate. Honestly, I'm going to do a misplaced faith. Because I'm evergreen and sooth green. I don't know, that's what I picked. My name? Uh, if it works... Evergreen. Anyway, you were born in Incarn, spent your youth as a press ganged laborer in the Imperial Navy, rarely setting foot planicide. Though subjected to an environment of endless toil and unimaginable hardship, you refused to be broken, developing an iron will and an ordered disciplined mind that have served you well to this day. After decorated service in the Astra Militarum, you were honored by being recruited into an elite regiment. You were declared unfaithful by a famous deacon of Crucis. 
Most knew the charges stemmed from the audacity of questioning the deacon's lavish lifestyle, but you were sent to the prison ship, the Tankered Bastion, all the same. You are aboard the Tankered Bastion, en route for Ultima Prime. Start game. Uh, confirm and play the prologue. Well, I am excited. Finally show off this game in its prime. It's the prison ship. Prisoners all secure, ma'am. I'll check for myself if you don't mind. Of course, ma'am. But do be wary. Every one of them's a filthy heretic. That one certainly is. Keep him intact. No accidents. My master wants to interrogate him as soon as we reach the hive. Of course, ma'am. Upon my life. This one, however. Makes you wonder why we even bother shipping trash like that. Hmm. Save a lot of data slate work just to process the execution notice now. What do you say, criminal? Shall I put you out of your misery? And ours, you would. Be quiet. Well? Nothing to say? This is a mistake. I am a loyal servant of the throne. <laughs> but of course, I'll just let you out now then. <clears throat> Shame you'll never get to prove that. Or will I? Front of terror! We're boarded! Counterfly now! Convicts or not, have a duty to the Imperium. Dragon Poxwalker! Basically, it screws up the AI. They uh, try to attack you, but now you've moved, so they have to recalculate. Couple strategy. Just on this ladder. No, not this way. This way. Prisoners. His head's gone. And he's bleeding it right. Uh, looks 
like soldiers that got beaten down. Don't reckon much to the security on this ship. To reach a different deck. Hope that elevator is still working. Just get away from me. For blood too, criminal. You said you were a loyal servant of the throne. I did. Understood. 
They're down. You're shut actually up. not bad. Shut up, shut up. That's military training for you. Promises. We'll probably wind up dead. I was dead anyway. <laughs> yeah. Very poetic. Just don't tell anyone I let an escaped prisoner save my life. You'll be more than dead. <laughs> The next step before we... Is this kind of no-opa? 
The best we can recruit these days. This one could be useful. Claims to be a loyal servant of the throne. Sounds great. This... I'm Sergeant Major Morrow. Your fresh meat. Mission briefings come through me. Let's see what you can do. All right. Get to the Sycanium. All right. Though previously, I believe, I think it might... So far, so good. Next up, you're to report to Stephanie at the Sycanium for additional training. Take my advice. Don't stare. She doesn't like it. Right. Um... I believe... You must be the new recruit Explicator Zola spoke of. If I'm honest, and I am seldom otherwise, I am not impressed. No wonder she recommended you for further training. Once you are shackled to my glorious Sycanium, I will mentor you in the skills and operative needs to survive. One assumes you do want to survive. Have no fear. My psychic conjurations cannot kill you, though they may leave persistent feelings of inadequacy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I believe we did this tutorial when we first started up the game, so it seems we've gone back, kind of backwards in, in a sense. Story first, then tutorial. What am I to do with you, specimen? <laughs> Uh, what training can you provide? Um, well, you are definitely gonna give me basic training. So, uh, this gives me the early rewards. Uh, basic training is a must for any operative. Uh, complete basic training grants you access to mission terminal and your standard issue war gear, which I'll get a Cantrill MG La Infantry Las Gun and the standard issue Minotaur Sapper Shovel. Well, so far the story is turning out pretty good. I mean, I have seen all this before, but... This is the Sycanium, a place of torture. I mean, training. Shall we start? Thank you. You can chain light or heavy attacks in any order. Chained attacks have different angles of attack and damage properties. All right, let's look at this guy. Pretty, pretty screwed up, traitor. Took some skulls, like a predator. Nice sword. Nice mace. have a powerful special attack. Others have a special ability that changes their next attack. and stagger groups of enemies. Pushing requires stamina. Grenades can be equipped and thrown. Each class has access to different grenades. What? Hey! No surviving. Joy. You two guys. Your combat ability massively increases gun handling and damage for a brief time. Dodging allows you to evade range fire and melee attacks. Melee attacks cannot be dodged if you have a ranged weapon active. Enemy attacks initially damage your toughness. Once your toughness is broken, they damage your health. 
Additionally, enemy attacks will stagger and stun you if you have no toughness. Killing enemies in melee replenishes toughness. Each nearby teammate also grants toughness regeneration. Marks the end of basic training. You are now ready to serve. Should you wish to further hone your knowledge, you can undertake advanced training. Uh, sure. Use armor piercing weaponry and attacks to damage armored enemies. <laughs> You can perform a unique follow-up attack after a push. Packs and ammo crates can be picked up and deployed to aid your team. Sweet. So fill ammo. Same shit, different day. Oh, yeah. Downed teammates can be helped up. Incapacitated teammates are captured by the enemy, but can be rescued. Corruption is caused by certain attacks, items, or being downed. Corruption reduces maximum health. If you are downed when the last segment of your health bar is corrupted, you are incapacitated and captured. That's right. Hey, bot, pick me up. Thank you. See the purple down at the bottom? Line? Health can be restored and corruption cleanse at Medicaid stations. Medicaid stations have limited uses, indicated by the glowing lights. Those lights right there. This is the battery to activate them, which can be found in the... Servidor. Dangerous enemies can be tagged to alert your team. World markers can be placed to help coordinate your team's tactics. Sniper! Sprinting helps avoid range fire. Crouching while sprinting performs a slide. Sliding helps evade attacks similar to dodging. enemies forces them to stop shooting and engage in melee combat. I win. Ow. When ranged enemies are shot at, they flinch, becoming suppressed. Suppressed enemies try to take cover and will not fire back. Suppressing fire! Ranged attacks cause suppression, making it harder to land accurate shots. Get out of the line of fire to restore accuracy. Marks 
the end of your advanced training. You now know everything you need to survive, Tertia. All right, fantastic. Let's do it. Kill in the Emperor's name. Very well. Inventory. What I get? Oh, so we have our standard issue shovel. Let's let's inspect it. Uh, damage is kind of low. Penetration is decent, so decent in uh, punching through armor. Mobility not that great. Defenses for blocking. It's I plus four stamina and first target. I don't know what that means. Uh, all right. It's versatile and crowd control weapon. A sturdy shovel, typical with one sharp edge for cutting, is a standard piece of kit in an infantry platoon support gear. All right. Oh, I see. It's a special ability. So, uh, if I one, two, three, probably does strike down, which is a heavy kind of like a special attack, and then relentless is two heavy attacks, and then the special action. I don't know what that is. We'll figure it out. And then we have our last gun. Let's read it. V. Uh, diligence and duty. Tip fire, semi-automatic. ADS, aim down sights, semi-automatic. Special ability is torch. Hmm. We don't have any cosmetics or feats, so we'll just. You're wanted in the Sanctum Dictatus. Seems the Inquisitor wants to take a look at you. Let's hope you don't disappoint. Yeah, you will go Well, that's cool. Also, I love the organ. Let's do it. that contaminates the Imperium. The supreme power of the Holy Inquisition is mine to wield. Who am I? I'm a warrior. The Hive World of Atoma Prime is a vital stronghold of Imperial power. No matter the darkness, no matter the racking storms of space, Atoma Prime must stand resolute. But a threat has come. The very darkness I am sworn to deny. Who am I? I have learned that Atoma is cast by the dark stain of chaos. Chaos is the arch enemy of mankind. It is the damnation of the world. It is everything I am sworn to oppose. Who am I? I am a warrior! It can only be cast out by the light of the throne and the scourging touch of flames. Who am I? I am a warrior! An instrument of the Inquisition, and no matter the risk to body and soul, I will purge the heart of you. I will to body, and cut out every scrap of darkness I find. Who am I? I am a warrior!
go to the top of the mountain. So now you know what's at stake. The Inquisitor clearly thinks you have what it takes. And as you've come through all that unscathed, Tertium shouldn't hold too many terrors for you. Huh. Report to the mission terminal for your first assignment. So you would think. Well, I think that's all we're gonna do for this video. Um, we will probably record one sometime soon to show you off the first mission, but I just want to show you a tutorial in the opening sequence. Now we are actually fully into the game, where we can now complete missions through the mission terminal. If you did enjoy as much as I did, which I did thoroughly, please do like, comment, and subscribe, as it really does help out the channel, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!